Hello everyone and welcome back to Zachary Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to know a very important and frequently asked concept in the UGC NET Environmental Science Examination. So get ready with your notes so that you can write down the important points which we are going to discuss in this video. So without much delay, let's start today's video. So before going into the concept, let us know what kind of questions are asked from that concept. So this is the question taken from the last year of UGC NET Environmental Science paper. So let us read the question first. So the question is a natural or man-made depression into which solid waste are dumped, compressed and daily covered with a layer of dirt is a close example of what kind of management. So this is from the solid waste management, very important topic. So the options are brown fields, surface impoundments, sanitary landfill or secured landfill. So here, if you don't know all these four things, their difference and all, so you won't be able to answer this question. So for that, we have to go to the next slide. And before that, I will tell you what will be the answer of this question. The question's answer will be sanitary landfill. Yes. Why it will be sanitary landfill, we will know in the next slide. So this is the important table which will help you to know all these four concepts in a very precise way. So this table I will be also uploading in our telegram group. If you haven't joined our telegram page, you can join there because this is very important and you can use it as a short note. So first is in the left hand side, you can see what are the things we have mentioned here. So the things which are mentioned is the feature that is sanitary landfill, secure landfill, brown fields and surface impoundments. And here we'll start with the definition, then their primary purpose, environmental protection, examples of waste, long term management, common issues and sites example. So here we'll start with the sanitary landfill. So in the sanitary landfill, what happens is it is a site for the disposal of waste by burial designed to minimize the environmental impact. So here just note down the important point which I'll be telling you. Otherwise, I'll be simply uploading this table in our telegram page. So this is the site for the disposal of the waste by burial designed to minimize the environmental impact that is sanitary landfill. Whereas secure landfill is highly regulated landfill for the disposal of hazardous waste with the enhanced safety measures. So it is specifically for the hazardous waste disposal. And here brownfield means it is the previously used industrial or commercial sites that are contaminated but have potential for redevelopment. So for example, in a place, if you are having industry or commercial sites, then it has been abandoned. After that, if it is having the potential for redevelopment, those sites will be called as brownfields where we'll be utilizing and using the waste and recovering them. Next is surface impoundments. Surface impoundments, they are like ponds, pits or lagoons designed to store or treat liquid waste or sludge. Specifically for the liquid waste it is used, that is the surface impoundment technique of waste management. Primary purpose, that is very important, note down, sanitary landfill is disposal of municipal solid waste. Secure landfill, disposal of hazardous waste. Brown fields, reclamation and redevelopment of a already contaminated land. Surface impoundment, temporary storage, treatment or disposal of the liquid waste. Let me remind you about the four mock test series which will provide a solid revision for the UGC NET environmental science paper. So this quality mock test as per the latest syllabus is available for just Rs 199. Yes, two simple steps to avail this mock test. You have to pay Rs 199 to this number 8895035690 and send me the screenshot and then I will provide you the links for the all four mock tests. Next, coming to the next point that is environmental protection. How those landfill or areas are protected? What from protection? Protection from coming out of that area. They should not leach out. So in the sanitary landfill, they use liners, covers and leachate collection systems to protect the environment. So they use liners. But here in secure landfill, they use multiple liners. So more protection than the sanitary landfill is secure landfill. Note down that. To, to control the leachate and to prevent its contamination. So multiple liners used and here 
single liners are used mostly next brown fields they involves clean up and management of contamination before the redevelopment so that area is already contaminated with the industrial or commercial waste so before redeveloping that area we have to clean that area and manage that area so that is the brown field next is surface impoundment they may use liners and cover but less protective than the secured landfill so here it is confirmed that secured landfill are the maximum protection in according to all these four types of solid waste liquid waste management next is examples of waste so examples of waste what is examples of waste which is used in this kind of management of the waste number one is sanitary landfill household garbage non hazardous commercial waste next is secure landfill what are the examples of waste used in this kind of landfill chemical waste industrial waste toxic substances that means hazardous waste these three categories next is brown field what kind of waste are the example in the brown field contaminated soil residues from the industrial activities and next coming to the surface impoundments they are industrial wastewater agriculture runoff mining bike products all in the liquid form next is management how it is manage, managed so it requires ongoing monitoring and maintenance that sanitary landfill requires ongoing monitoring that means daily monitoring so that was the question which was asked regular monitoring or changing of the sanitary landfill will be the correct answer which we discussed in the first slide so that gives the point that is used be sanitary landfill will be the answer next secure landfill requires stringent long term monitoring and maintenance so it requires ongoing monitoring and maintenance but secure landfill requires stringent very strict monitoring and maintenance similarly the brown field involves long term monitoring especially if the contamination remains if the contamination is eradicated in the initial stage no need of long term monitoring next is requires regular monitoring and maintenance that is surface impoundments also similarly common issues so common issues in the land, sanitary landfill is that potential for leachate leakage and gas emission so the leachate can leak and gas emission can also take place because it is liners are only single liners are used mostly next common issues in secure landfill is risk of hazardous waste leakage if the system fail high cost and complexity of clean up and environment redevelopment is the brown field common issue A risk of overflow leak and contamination of groundwater is the issue in the surface impoundment now examples so local municipal waste landfills are called as central landfill secure landfill means hazardous waste disposal site for example love canal in us and we know that love canal disaster is one of the very very tragic disaster the question comes from there also that is that happened in us brownfield site example means former industrial site like old factories gas station they can be called as the example of brownfield similarly industrial waste ponds tailing ponds in mining operation they are the examples of surface impoundments so i hope you have learned something new and you have gathered a good amount of knowledge and data from this video if you want more such video don't forget to subscribe the channel zaclit and hit the notification icon to get all further updates you can also join our telegram page for the daily quizzes in order to strengthen your preparation so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself